My name is Kai, and this is my ball python, Phantom. I know that having a snake seems like a very odd pet choice, but it's actually quite easy to handle, and I'm about to show you exactly how. To start off with, we'll go over his enclosure, next over feeding habits in water, and finally some tips about handling them, just in case. As far as getting started goes, getting your tank set up is going to be your biggest challenge. To start off, you're going to need a 30 to 40 gallon tank for a fully grown python. Babies can stay in a smaller one, but they will need to be moved up once they grow older. Next, you're going to need some sort of heat source, and this can come in either lamp form or pad form. Either works, but if you're putting them in a colder area, I would suggest a heating pad, since the lamp has to be turned off at night. Finally, you need some furnishings for your enclosure, and that can include caves, logs, and other things that your snake can hide in, climb on, or just chill in. When picking out a water bowl for your snake, it's important to consider its size and depth. A correctly sized water bowl will be big enough to fit your snake's entire body, while also just deep enough to fit his width. Any deeper can be dangerous for the snake, but any shallower and he won't be able to bathe. For this part of the video, I would like you to keep an open mind, because snakes eat mice. However, they don't eat live mice, at least in captivity. They eat what's called frozen thawed mice. And let me show you how that works. Feeding a snake is about as easy as one, two, three. One, take some water and heat it up in either the microwave or stove. It shouldn't be boiling, but hot enough to the touch so it will thaw the mouse. Next, you take the mouse out of the freezer and stick it in the cup of water for about five minutes. Three, you take the mouse out of the cup with your feeding tongs and dangle it over your snake's head. Once he sees it, you can just drop it in there and let him do his thing. You don't have to watch him eat it. Now that you've learned how to take care of one of these guys, here are a few other tips and tricks that'll help you out along the way. The first tip I have for you is to not get discouraged or scared if they run away. They will escape the tank from time to time. One time, I lost Phantom for about two months. He just disappeared. And then I got home one day, lifted up a poster board, and suddenly he was there. Another time I came home from my dad's and he was just hanging on the sword on my wall. Second word of advice is to feed your snake in a place that's not their home. That way they will begin to associate that place with food. I hope this taught you a little bit more about caring for snakes. I know they seem like an odd pet. They're actually really, really cool. And so I hope you consider getting one in the future. Anyway, that's all from me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!